system. So everyone wants to help. So there's Freddy, and Freddy's getting us a bucket of water. He's gonna help us water the mango tree and the banana tree and the beautiful flowers. But somebody told me don't water the cactus because cactus don't want too much water. second family because I do the chair dance and I only come because I want to and I made these. So I like to decorate it. You painted it? Uh-huh. And then, oh let me show you this. Somebody, somebody stole the mirror from the bathroom so I got them a new mirror. So the owner and everyone here loves me and I'm like family and I won't accept money and my money's in a good care. And I'd rather have interdependence and relationships because I believe in this world. I am fancy sometimes and I like a little market economy but I don't want it to be my only choice. So this is one of the spaces where I do interdependence. Um, you know, it's an unlikely place because it is a Before enlightenment, fetch the water, chop the wood. After enlightenment, fetch the water and chop the wood. I didn't like how the tribe wanted to dig into the dirt before. This way, we don't dig into the dirt, but this mango tree is gonna root down big time. And the screen underneath was removed. So they can't prevent our trees from growing. Flowers love water. But not the cactus. The cactuses love love. I love you. They're puppies. I'd like to think that we'll get even more unique animals the more that we biodiversify. Yes! We have mangoes here! In five years, you can have mangoes. And in three years, you can have grandma bananas. It's a little tree, but it produces a lot of fruit, and grandmas are very healthy and delicious. So, the plan is to put maybe one more fruit tree here, like another banana, 
and there's this one tree called a red tiger banana tree that's so beautiful. It looks like it has red tiger stripes and the rest is a beautiful fluorescent green. Um, and then we could, if you look, there's already like bees and our last garden was attracting hummingbirds and now you can see there's like a unique bird over here. So the more that we go down these planters, this one's empty and then this will be the next one that we do. So this plant, I love how the universe gave us like a really easy step two. So our first one was already empty and now this one we just have this one to move. So me and a few friends are going to take this guy up and transplant him somewhere else. So most likely we're also going to be using the front of that building to garden because if you look at ozone, ozone has now been clean for several weeks. And since I've kept my end of the bargain, the manager, as I mentioned in the past videos, the manager of the building is keeping his word and he's letting us do a food forest in front. So we're going to be doing here and here. The sanitation guys have given their permission to let us use one of the dumpsters there. So the deal I have with them, just like with manager guy, I cut a deal to keep ozone clean. So sanitation guys, what do they want? They want there to be less trash, less work. So I'm like, okay, done. Like the, the garden goddesses and the superhero squad who wants to live, like most of the time the guys want to tend to like the plant medicines and the women are more like flowers and food and everyone has their place. I met this one woman who wanted to tend to the, to the sharp tooth and clawed animals, all the bears and tigers, scary. Who wants to do that? She does. So everyone, like nature is amazing. If there's a carcass, like everyone will come do the work. And if someone doesn't finish the work, like someone will pick it up and finish it. And if we respond to needs this way, it's not about like, disrupting or taking down or voting or getting rid of market economy it's that we can let market economy people do market economy because it's really cool like we invent lots of awesome stuff and blah 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 blah, blah. it has a big upside but also nature has like its own needs and if we have market economy respond to nature's needs then it's more about like productivity and consumption and and extracting resource it's not about like symbiosis and compassion and being relational it's not even in the relational part of the brain because we don't ask how people feel and what they want we're trying to get a good deal so we our plan is to basically food forest food forest food forest food forest i just did an interview oh if you want to come with me to talk to ladwp guys i sang a musical and danced around them and was like, you're superheroes, open your heart. I was like, take off your vest and you're a superhero. And they started to take their vests off. They were like, yeah. I gotta run. Okay, bye. So we can talk to them because they, they want to dig a river. So if I can just get everyone to be like, all we have to do is want, like, I want that. Then that's how we change the world. I don't have the wisdom, but all of us together do. So LADWP guys will dig the rivers. They'll create lagoons, hot springs. We'll have every different temperature to choose from of water that we want to go in. And then these food forests will expand until all the way to the ocean. See, I see an opportunity here because there's no buildings or anything. It's parks and recs. But what if we just give it back to nature? Because parks and recs, you can't control nature anymore. We need symbiosis. And this, what a great place to do a wildlife reserve. This is where people who want to heal from trauma can come. This is where it's already wild and free. And rather than changing Venice to be just like Santa Monica, like I heard the sheriff say, let's help Venice be Venice. Let's help it be an oasis and a paradise. So food forests and all these planters, and then by the time we have all these planters and we have food here, then we can start to expand. So, can you show us what you have in there? Yeah. Here's a mango tree. In the mango tree, we're giving lots of love, and mango tree is getting better and better every day. But mango tree's been through a lot because the friends were like moving mango tree around and stuff. So part of the garden is politics. Like I have to go talk to all of the friends who live out here. I know the whole squad here. I know people who live there. Like I need to know everyone because you almost have to get 
people on board otherwise it'll it'll get destroyed so people so it's a lot of work just to have this garden I have to talk to sanitation and I believe in these types of systems where it's collaborative rather than the command and control top bottom and then everyone horizontally competes and then you have women instead of looking at me like a friend they could start to compare themselves to me or men instead of looking at each other like friends they start to compete and compare themselves like we all have gifts just like that carcass that's rotting like the big scavengers come and then the little ones come and then the tiny organisms come and everyone does their work and no one's better just because you have more power it then you use more power with and you help more you don't use that power over to control and in this world that i'm creating the most vulnerable will lead us like the banana tree cannot defend the banana tree is vulnerable and needs love otherwise he she cannot exist and that's what this is about if we have like like just here alone mango trees produce a lot this is gonna be a lot of food so we have like all the tro yummy tropical fruits here and then we have like some berries here we find out who wants to be together we communicate with the plants ask them where they want to go and we can literally start to free like we, we talk about rescuing a dog from the pound let's free animals don't rescue them because you're not their savior free them and then you're the caretaker and the nurturer so these are free plants they belong to the community and to everyone which means that bird over here that's sniffing around he's right it's for him too it's way easier when it's empty <laughs> Love you. Come find me, goddess. Or I'll come find you. Bye. So lovable. <laughs>